What's up everybody? Thank you for joining me on my first ever YouTube video for my new channel, The Cardiac. I hope you guys enjoy this video here today because I'm super excited to do it myself. I've been holding on to all of these cards you see here for quite some time. Uh, waiting to get this all put together and up and running for you. So a little bit about why exactly I decided to do this is I've been collecting sports cards for basically my entire life. Um, let's see, I'm a, I grew up in, I was born in 1996, grew up in 96. I was born in 1996 and ever since then really, you know, sports have been a passion of mine. I have both hockey, football, soccer, and basketball cards. Uh, a lot of my collection is overseas in Europe as my family and I did move there when I was a teenager and I took everything with me and unfortunately did not bring it back over here. So. I don't know exactly what all I have down there, but maybe one day we'll make a video about that when I go back home and visit my relatives uh, overseas. But without further ado, I just kind of wanted to explain to you folks what I have here in front of me. Uh, for those of you who are just kind of getting started with the hobby or checking in, you know, and, and keeping up with it, I should say, you, you, you recognize the craze that's been going on with the market. We have a variety of sets here. So these are going to be what, what you call your retail packs, really, uh, your value packs. They have various types of cards. I'll explain why I chose these two here in a minute. Um, this is going to be the hanger box. These usually have 30 cards per pack. Um, you know, I, I do enjoy opening these a lot. This one here is, is something special, though. I'll get it out of that light. Sorry, I have an overhead light. I'm trying to figure out how it's going to be best for the videos. But essentially, this pack right here has a graded card. Um, I'll explain what graded cards mean here in a, in a further video. But they do promise or, or they do state that you have a chance. I shouldn't say the word promise. That you have a chance to pull a rookie, a uh, name brand rookie. So... This one was the most expensive. I could have bought probably double this again just for this. Um, <laughs> it was about 250 bucks, but they do release it every so often. It is Series 17, so it started a while ago, and I was lucky enough to pull number 14 out of 100. So, knock on wood, hopefully the number 14 is going to be lucky for me today. But just kind of explaining, I guess, why I chose to go with what packs I do have here. This Illusion ones, I've been following a lot of uh, a lot of YouTube channels here that are opening up packs and whatnot, and not a lot of people are ripping these. So I'm, I'm excited to see what they have. I like what the cards look like, what the card styles are. As you see, you can pull some parallels, and we'll probably explain a video. I'll, I'll post a video here explaining what all the different kinds of cards means, you know, whether or not it's an insert, a parallel, you know, a RCA, whatever, you know, whatever it may be. Um, I'll post a video explaining kind of all that so you guys get a sense of, of why exactly, you know, some packs are more valuable than others. Uh, the NBA Chronicles pack, so this pack is probably my favorite, not necessarily pack, but brand, I should say. I just love how the cards look. I love what kind of players you can pull. Um, you know, we're, we're hoping we get some name brand players. I am a Rockets fan myself. I know it's been a tough season for all you out there, especially with James Harden leaving us, but much love to the beard. He actually is my favorite player. So, you know, hopefully we'll see some, we'll see some players, if anything, from the Rockets, maybe even the Blazers, you know, where I currently live. I live near Portland, Oregon, so we'll see what we can pull. We'll get started probably with this illusion ones and, and you know, hopefully pull some pull some heat as we call it here in the industry. So here we go. I'm literally literally sweating right now, folks, just, just doing this because it's been long awaited. Um, and for those of you guys who, who do who do collect, um, I get the I get the aspect of wearing gloves and all this stuff. I'm not not too big into that. You know, I figured we do it because we love it, not because we're we're trying to make a huge living off of it. So Starting off the bat, we have a Lori Markkinen from the Chicago Bulls. That is a nice card in itself. You guys see that reflection, especially with this freaking strobe light I have up here. I'm uh, trying to keep it out of there so you guys see it. That is a beautiful looking card. Super nice. I love how it looks. Lori Markkinen, he's an outstanding player there. Certainly love how that is. Eric Bledsoe, shout out to my friend Danny, who is a Bucks fan. That card might slide over to him. He does love the Bucks. He is a huge Bucks fan. Unfortunately, Bledsoe really wasn't that good for him, in my opinion, but looks good nonetheless. Nice looking cards, as you folks see. Honestly, the, 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 the way they did these things is, is super great. I like the reflectiveness. I mean, all of them honestly look expensive, as you guys can see. Let me try to get that. If I remove the light, it's still reflective. Let's go back with the light. Give me a second here, folks. Get that light back on there. It'll shine better. <laughs> so, we got that here. Josh Jackson for the Grizzlies. That's nice. Terry Rozier. That's cool. That's a nice card. He's been, he's been balling out this year, having a great season. Number three, which is one of my favorite. Ooh, that is a nice, nice card. A Mystique Bradley Beal. Beal. Beer, <laughs> Beal. That is... That is a very nice card. I'm going to sleeve that one here. He's been having a killer season. Correct me if I'm wrong. Drop it down in the comments and let me know. But I believe he is the highest scoring NBA player this season. So 
certainly a nice card that we'll, we'll, we'll penny sleeve. And yes, folks, I know that you're supposed to get the top loaders. Unfortunately, with the craze, it's been hard to find them here. So that's a, that's a really nice card there. Sorry about the glare again. Super, super nice. And it's see-through, which is really cool. So put that one on the side. And then let's see, who do we have next? We have Golinari. Perfect. This guy is a baller. Folks always criticize him, but I think this man has some handles and he can shoot the ball like, you know, not a lot of other players there in the NBA League. So certainly not a bad pack. And there he is. I love snakes. I love snakes. And you, I'd pull one. I actually have a pet one. Just getting all the love to Kevin Durant. He's been balling out, especially with my boy James Harden this year. I think he's only played eight games with him, but hopefully he gets a man a title. That is actually super nice. My brother is a huge KD fan, so that might be a that might be sleeved up and given to him. I have a ton of these sleeves, you folks. Uh, you know, if you're looking where to get them, I get them off of Amazon. They're super cheap. Uh, just you know, for these penny ones, I do not recommend storing them long term in these sleeves. Me myself, I'm not going to keep them in here for too long. But certainly a nice nice KD card there. You know, for folks who aren't really into the hobby, if they just adore the player, you know, these kind of things, you, you can just give them and. You know, they'll appreciate it probably way more than, than you will, but certainly a nice card nonetheless, especially if he rings a, wins a ring this year. Let's see. Who is this? This is Finney Smith. Finney Smith. I'm not sure if I'm too familiar with him, to be honest with you, but might be a rookie, might not be. Let's see. No, nope. he has been <laughs> with the Dallas Mavericks for the first three seasons, so we are looking forward to that. Certainly a nice card. Looks good. Put that on the side here. And Markel Fultz. This man right here. I really, really like him as a player. I really, really was hoping that he would uh, not undergo what he went through through his first few seasons in the NBA, but glad nonetheless to see him balling out. If you folks are in the hobby, his cards are going up in value. I'm not sure how much they are from, you know, how much they go for out of these packs, but certainly a good card to kind of keep on the side. He's been balling out nonetheless, and, you know, he's he's He's, he's, a, he's a good player, folks. He's gone through a lot just to get to where he is, um, you know, especially with the injuries that he had at first. So, so certainly great, great to go with. And let's see, we'll we'll go with our rookie cards here. Perfect, a Jackson Hayes. Jackson Hayes here from the Pelicans. Certainly good. He's uh, he's balling out. Um, he's playing really well. The Pelicans themselves are kind of a a team that you know go well and go <laughs> go well and go under fairly quickly. They have good games, they have bad games, but. Zion, of course, has been balling out along with Lonzo. It's, it's been, a, been, been a killer duo. Glad to see them growing up, but certainly a nice little rookie card here, Jason Hayes. I like to sleeve all my rookies. Some folks don't. They like to save you know, their sleeves for only like the precious ones, the name guys, but you never know where this dude's going to end up or how he's going to be, so certainly worth, uh, worth sleeving and keeping protected. And next here we have DeAndre Hunter. Certainly a nice card here. Looks really good. I believe he plays for the Hawks. Let's see. Yes, he does play for the Hawks. Was not wrong. Um, you know, balling out as well. He has Trey Young on his team. It's been fairly good for him. Certainly a good good guy. Like I said, he's not a not a name rookie that a lot of people hear about, but you never know where these folks are going to end up. You know, you, you never know where these players can get to and how they can do. So sleeve that guy up and keep him nice and safe. Right there, seeing that little penny sleeve. We call them pennies because it's usually a penny for a sleeve, but... Anyways, Nasir Little, here we go. First Blazers pull. There we go, rookie. Honestly, I follow the Blazers quite a bit. Uh, right outside of the Rockets, they are my next favorite team. Um, he's been balling. He is a baller for sure. He can uh, he can put up some points. He can put up some boards. He's a, he's a, he's a good player all around. I think, uh, you know, with the Blazers themselves, they do have a hard time kind of drafting players and, and getting, getting good looks. But certainly did a good job with him. Can't remember exactly when they drafted him, but uh, what round or, or what pick. But certainly a good pickup. Again, like I said, going to be sleeving that guy, keeping it here. Nice and safe. And for all of you wondering, yes, I did wash my hands before I get here to make sure there was no oil or anything. Next thing here is the Chronicles. I hope you folks appreciate, appreciate this pack as much as I do. And if you do, give me a like, hit that subscribe button. You know we'll keep it coming as much as we can. I kind of have an unorthodox method of purchasing these packs and cards. And I'll, I'll explain that later in my later videos here for folks who are just getting started out. Because, like I said, these things can be, be fairly expensive. And my fiance and I plan on getting married here. And plan on, we are getting married in, uh, in July. And, uh, you know, she's, uh, she's excited that I'm pursuing a hobby. But every now and then we, we, have that, we sit down and have that conversation about... How much is it worth having, I guess. So let's see. So anyways, going back to the polls, we're looking for, for exclusives. You know, the Braun Parallel score inserts right now uh, with these packs here. It is a 15-card value pack. They, they do range in, in price, you know, uh, depending on where exactly you buy them. If you find them retail, good on you. You're, you're, you're very lucky. Uh, you probably won't be able to. I know just in, in my area up here in the Pacific Northwest, Walmart has actually 
stop selling these cards as has Fred Meyer, I believe. Uh, Target sells them, but they do what they call a virtual line where they send you a text message letting you know when they receive the shipment and then you can come and pick it up. So, nonetheless, we're gonna rip this bad boy open. Let's see if I can rip it open. Oh, there we go. A little rough. Gotta be safe. Whew. Alrighty. So, you might get a little stickage with these cards. It depends on where they're coming from, but. Certainly, nonetheless, they're nice. Let's see. We got a Jordan Poole. First pull right here for the Golden State Warriors. Certainly a really, really nice card. Uh, it, is a, it is a rookie card, and like I said, we're definitely going to be sleeving that. I don't mean to shine the name there. I'm still getting used to figuring out how the best way to record this is. So if you folks have any ideas, drop them down in the comments. Let me know. Give me a like. Uh, we're going to sleeve this guy right here. Make sure that he's all taken care of. Like I said, it is a rookie card. You never know where they're going to blow up or how they're going to be. So definitely want to do that kind of move through these because there are 15 of them put that guy on the side sleeved mellow if you refer to mellow for lamello you are probably very very young and younger than i am this is the original mellow i'm gonna sleeve this card just because i love mellow he is a killer player you know i'm not sure exactly how how his career is gonna end up he does play for the blazers now hopefully he wins a ring i think he deserves one and has deserved one for quite a while uh so we'll go ahead and, and sleeve this one up as well just to keep it just to keep it nice Give me a second. All right. Come on. Mellow's being difficult for me. I always try not to touch the face of the cards too much, uh, just because you don't want your, your your skin oil or oil skin, whatever you want to call it, getting on them. That is nice. I love the prestige marks here on this, the Colby White card from the Bulls. Really, really nice. He's been balling out. He's been playing really, really, really well. Tell me if you think I'm wrong, but I feel like a lot of the players that, that, that the Bulls draft can throw down the ball. And I mean, like, above the rim and in the rim. I mean, it's a nice-looking card. I believe he's going up for a jumper. I don't see the three-point line mark behind him, so I'm assuming he was going up for a, for a three-pointer. Hopefully it went in. <laughs> Let's see. Put that bad boy in there. Okay, we got Bradley Beal. Dominating at a level a few can. That is true. Hopefully this man wins a ring at some point in his career. He's been balling out really well. Certainly a nice card. Jaw Moran. Where are all my Jaw fans at? Where are all my Jaw fans at? I know you out there. I'm personally a pretty big fan of his. Not super, super huge as some of you are, but I do like him a lot. So we're going to sleeve that card up because his cards have been both selling like crazy and a lot of people are looking for him, whether they're graded or not, folks. You know, some of these cards can go for, for quite a bit of money and, and people like to see them. So... We'll go ahead and, and sleeve that one as well. Moving on forward here, Kevin Porter Jr. That's really nice. Playing for the Cavs. Cavs have been having a good season. Who is this? This is Minnesota Timberwolves. Jarrett Culver. That is nice. That is a nice looking card. It says that it's his rookie card. Luminance on there. I don't know if you folks can see the shine like I can. Again, sorry about the light. We'll, we'll, we'll play around with that to make sure that it's better for the next video. Certainly a nice looking card. We're going to go ahead and sleeve that one. Just because it looks like it's going to be worth quite a bit. And I hope, hopefully you guys kind of see why I prefer the, the Chronicles. Just kind of the art on the card themselves and, and the lettering looks looks really fantastic. Right here we got my man, RJ Barrett. If anybody knows how to throw this ball down into the rim, it is this man. He is a killer on the basketball court. I'm a huge, huge fan of his. I love what he's been doing. I mean, being drafted with Zion Williamson, Zion Williamson was carrying a lot of the, ha uh, the hype you know, in the draft class, but certainly nonetheless, he's a baller, folks, and I, I really think he's going to turn into a turn into a good player, um, so we're going to sleeve that bad boy up, too. Why not? Sleeves for everybody these days. I don't know if I'm sleeving cards. I shouldn't be, but I'm just nervous, too. It's the first video for the channel, so give it a like. Hit that subscribe button. Show me the support. You know I'll appreciate it. All right, I'm going to try to go through this without sleeving anymore. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Alrighty, so we got this uh, Cameron Johnson, certainly a nice card. Phoenix Suns have been balling out. They have the floor general. Chris Paul on their team here. Got a Pelicans card. Nikhil Alexander-Walker, certainly a nice card. He's been balling out as well. Great, I just like the, the, the logos here. Another R.J. Barrett card. Let's go, folks. Let's go. This is why we do it. We do it so we pull cards that we love and players we love. Because like I said... You know, even though he might not necessarily reach a, reach a high market value for the card, we do it because we like the player and we want to support the player. Knicks have had a had a rough few stints, so glad they got a baller like him on uh, on their team. Certainly excited to see what this man does in the league. Coming up here, 
Eric Pascal. This man literally carried my fantasy basketball team, I believe it was last year. This man is insane. He is a baller. He's doing really well. The card itself looks really nice. Um, I, I like how they do it here in the Chronicles with the Luminance logo, and it's nice reflective. It just looks expensive, folks. It looks great. So we'll put that one on the side. Colby White. Whoo! Hometown Heroes. That is a nice card. One more that we are definitely going to sleeve. That looks gorgeous. Oh, my God. That is a nice card. He's been balling out as well, if you know anything about a... Uh, Anything about these up and coming rookies, you know that he's been he's been he's been throwing down the ball. He's been playing playing really well, so we're gonna put that in the sleeve for sure. That is just a nice looking card. I mean, wow. Just the the, the line work on that is clean. I mean, look at that. Really, really great. Tell me what you think. Let's see, the the marquee here. Who is it? Jackson Hayes. That is also a very nice card. I love these. I love the framing they do. They do it, I believe. I might be wrong. Correct me if I am, but I believe they're using the kind of the similar logo they did since they've been doing these types of cards. As you can see around the frame, they got the, the, the stars on top of it. It is shiny. It is great. I mean, these things are just, these things are just wow, folks. And sorry to be spending so much time on it. I'm just excited if you can't tell. Let's see what the, I don't even know what minute mark we're on. Let's see, 16 minutes already. Okay. And then right here, we got Brandon Clark from the Memphis Grizzlies. Certainly a nice card as well. Gonna sleeve that one. And we'll get, keep moving here because we are talking for a lot. Hopefully I can keep the, keep the video. Uh, let's see, I got 30 cards in here. <laughs> let's hope, uh, let's hope I can keep it below, uh, what are we thinking, 22, 23 minutes? I think we can do that. All right, we're gonna throw these on the ground, throw the wrappers on the ground and then pick them up before my fiance gets home. So a lot of folks don't know what these packs look like. I'm opening it up here. I should have done it on camera so you folks believe that I didn't stuff anything, but it comes wrapped up. Oh, and there he is. There he is. I'm so happy to see that card, folks. My favorite player. Let's go. Let's go. That makes me want to get into this pack right away. We are going to fly through this one. Let's go. Again, like I said, maybe not be a worth to a lot of y'all, but... Just a player that I adore and love. And if you hate him, you need to realize that he uses what he can to his advantage to get to the rim the way he does. And he's been balling out, balling out for the Nets. So we'll keep going. Alrighty. So we're going to kind of breeze through these. We got a De'Aaron Fox for the Kings. Certainly a nice card. He's been balling out as well. I'm not going to try to pronounce this name. I've heard it. <laughs> I don't want to butcher it. I myself have a, have a, have a bad name. But look at that face right there on Booker, you just realize he's he's ending up on a, on a card. He's like, what am I doing? Jamal Murray, certainly a baller. Sorry, it's upside down, folks. We'll go ahead and, and breeze through these. Cam Reddish, also a baller. Really, really nice card. Don't like that line that it has down the middle of it. I don't know if you folks can see it, but it's going to affect it if we send it in to get graded. Julius Randle, another one that, that the Lakers let go of. Should have kept, in my opinion, but nonetheless, a really nice card. So... Ooh, yo, Tyler Hero, let's go. His cards have been skyrocketing in value, folks. That's a nice pull. That's a really, really nice pull. I'm gonna give me a second. Get that in there. Nice, nice pull. Nice pull. That's just great. Overall, he's he's balling out. He has a song named after him. If you don't know what it is, go check it out. Keep going. Kemba Walker on the Celtics. That's nice. Looks good. He is fitting in just fine in Boston. I'll agree with that. Let's see, Darius Cardlin, also nice, Cavs player, I have a boy in Cleveland, shout out to Alex, who's a huge Cavs player, Cavs fan, excuse me, certainly a great, great, great card, Eric Pascal, yet again, that is a nice card, just look at this artwork, not artwork, excuse me, this, this picture capturing, I mean, it's great, Kobe White, another Kobe White card, perfect, pulling a lot of Kobe's, RIP to the, to the Mamba, but you guys know what I mean, <laughs> got that here. Keldon Johnson, nice, nice looking card. I'm trying to make this. Luka Doncic, let's go. Let's go. Nice little Luka card. Nice little Luka card. We're gonna sleeve that bad boy in. He is from where my where my parents are from, former Yugoslavia, Slovenia, but we're actually from Bosnia. Nice card to pull. We love it. And back to back with the beard. Let's go. And you already know I love this man, so I'm gonna sleeve this card. Why not? Keep it going. Keep it going fairly quickly. Jordan Poole. Let's see. Another Tyler Hero card, folks. This is a great, great pack. 
We got a great one here, Tyler Hero. Look at that card. Just a beauty in itself. We're gonna go ahead and sleeve that one as well. Like I said, probably not worth not worth a lot today, uh, but certainly it might be worth something down the road. So, I think I got a sneak peek at that card there. Sorry that moved, folks. I hit it with my fingers. So we'll kind of browse through these here. DeAndre Hunter, because that made me super excited. Jackson Hayes, certainly a nice card. Grant Williams, balling out as well, great player. Zion Williamson, let's go, folks, let's go. I told you, this, oh my God, we got a Rui right underneath him. Let's get this bread, that is what I'm talking about. Like I said, folks, his cards, you know, his rookie cards are selling for astronomical prices, but honestly, anything from this player is, is great to have. He's been balling out. Rui, my man, as well, he's been playing. Another James Harden card, too, let's go. Sorry, I'm honestly, if you folks can't tell, I'm hella excited. So, hope you're sharing my excitement and seeing why I'm into this. Gonna sleeve that bad boy up. And this one as well. Let's see. I love James Harden. Need me some of him. And he got the green lettering in his name right there. That's just, that's just fresh. Alrighty, we got a Kendrick Nunn. He's been balling out. Oh my god! No way! We got another Zion! Look at the artwork on that! Oh my god! That is insane! I hope you folks appreciate that card as much as I do. Look at that! Oh, that one is going to be sent off to get graded probably at some point when they can. I don't know if it's ever going to be worth some, but I just love that artwork on that. Look at that! Oh, it's just a beautiful card. That's why we do it, folks. Another Jackson Hayes card. Okay, okay, looking good. Like the style of this card here. But like I said, we're trying to get to the video, so I won't be spending too much time. Another Rui card. Perfect. I sleeved that other one. I'll probably sleeve this one, too. I'll put it to the side. A Marquise uh, Romeo Langford. I'm not sure if I'm too familiar with him, to be honest. If anybody knows anything about him, drop it in the comments and let me know. I'm sure he's been balling out as well. Who is this? This is... Oh, it's that dude. Simu Dumbayo. Sorry if I mispronounced that, my last name is D-Z-A-N-N-O-V-I-C, so if you can pronounce mine, great, if not, sorry, but that is a nice looking card itself, kind of got that electricity thing going on, might as well just leave that one to have it sleeved. Oh my god, no freaking way, folks, this blaster box is pulling nothing but heat, look at that, a John Morant green, oh my god, playing for the Grizzlies, that is why we do it. This is literally why we do it, folks. We're pulling some heat on this, man. We got the, the, the Jaw and the Zion. Those are just nice looking cards. I mean, just even down the road, wow. Certainly, certainly great. Now, folks, let's see what time it is. I told you it's about to be 23 minutes. I appreciate it if you made it this far. I'll post a, I'll, I'll try to do it where I post in the comments where exactly what opening is, but here we go. So the hit parade when we open these they told you they'd send you just kind of a card. It's from Dave and Adams. You can check their website out. They usually do these every once in a while, but they just kind of send you these little, like, I guess, marketing pieces where you can submit things and try to get rookie cards and whatnot, but I usually don't pay too much attention to it. This is why we're here. 14 out of 100. Let's let's uh, see. Let me grab the scissors. Give me a second. I'm going to put it right here. Still sealed. Everybody sees. I'm going to cut down the middle. Ooh. Cut down the middle. We're gonna yank this thing open, and we are hopefully gonna pull some major heat so that I can tell my fiance and she's not mad at me. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Whew. Nice, look, nice looking box just overall. It can slide out. I love when they do things like this where you don't have to tear it, because I do plan on keeping the card in here with the 14 out of 100, that's pretty cool. Hit Parade the Rookies, so let's see if we can, let's use this card, let me take off the, the tape just so we don't get Hopefully, I'll, I'll try to cover it up here, folks, while getting it. Oh, <laughs> that's enough. Cut there. Cut there. Opened. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, it's already covered. <laughs> well, it shows you how many of these I've opened, so we will try to, okay. We will try to remove this and pull out. Oh my God. Yes. Yes and yes. We got a 9.5 Devin Booker rookie card. That is insane. 
Wow. That is, wow. That is, that is really, really cool. I love Devin Booker. Everybody and anybody has heard about him. It's his rookie card. The, uh, the Panini Prism is one of, you know, one of the most favored, I'd say, collectible cards out there. Certainly one of the cards that is, in my opinion, only going to go up in value and I can justify the price I paid for it uh, to my fiance. So I hope you, you, you folks are ex as excited as I am here and seeing me pull this heat. Oh, such a beautiful card. We got some fire. I'll lay out the, the Devin Booker. The Devin Booker, the Zion and the Jaw. I mean, those are just those are just killer cards. This Devin Booker, though, it's that's just that's just killer. I mean, honestly, it's just a nice card, nice looking card. It is his rookie card. I'm glad it's already graded. Don't have to deal with that process or anything. We got the Zion, we got the Jaw. Super nice looking cards, as I, as I told you folks. The Chronicles, in my opinion, are a nice way to go. Pulled some heat today, so hope you folks enjoy it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna try to be releasing a video every week. Depends on the stockpile of cards that I have and whatnot we're going through. So, you know, if you guys are interested, hit that, tell all your friends about the Cardiac, let them all know that we're pulling heat on this channel and much love.